What's going on guys, it's Deathmock here. Today I'm going to be here talking about something rather interesting uh, regarding Call of Duty Warzone Mobile. Now, Call of Duty themselves have put an official blog post up on their website, uh, which tells us more information about Day Zero's limited time launch event. Uh, all the details, all the rewards that we need to know about, and of course uh, about pre-registering, uh, ready before launch on March 21st, or aka this Thursday at the time I caught this video. So as you guys can see, uh, we've got a blog post which reads, Join the fight in Call of Duty Warzone Mobile's Day Zero limited time launch event, details and rewards. Fight your way through Verdansk and Rebirth Island during Operation Day Zero, the limited time launch event for Call of Duty Warzone Mobile. Complete in-game challenges across six Day Zero zones to earn individual and community rewards during this massive launch event. So, give an action-packed welcome to Call of Duty Warzone Mobile, or Call of Duty WZM, with the Operation Day Zero launch event. Drop into six contested different zones across Verdansk and Rebirth Island as the entire Warzone Mobile community works together to complete event actions and earn event points towards unlocking individual and community rewards that are usable across Warzone Mobile, Warzone and Modern Warfare 3. Join the millions of players who have already pre-registered for the game during this inaugural in-game event. Operation Day Zero begins on March 22nd, the day after Warzone Mobile launches worldwide. So we've got uh, mission details, so let's take a look at these. Operation Day Zero features a total of six contested zones, five of which for Verdansk and the other for Rebirth Island. Players who complete certain event actions within the corresponding zones will accrue event points or EP. The EP that you earn tracks towards individual awards and will be added to the total community EP score to unlock Day Zero zones. A zone is cleared once players have collectively accumulated the required community EP displayed in game. So how do you go about earning this EP? So event points are earned by playing any mode and completing event actions in a contested zone. The amount of EP earned varies based on the action completed. Event actions that reward EP include opening a supply drop or day zero supply drop, eliminating an enemy player, completing a contract, using a kill streak, landing a headshot, and purchasing items from buy stations. And when warming up for your Battle Royale matches in Warzone Mobile's multiplayer mode, you'll earn EP for every elimination as well, for a less amount compared to eliminating enemies in Battle Royale. <coughs> so Day Zero Supply Drops earn event points more quickly by acquiring items and gear from a special Day Zero Supply Drop, awarding better loot, cash, XP and EP compared to opening a traditional supply box. Day Zero Supply Drops are periodically dropped into active zones and show up on the radar as a create icon. Day zero zones. When the event begins, the first zone will activate. Complete the above actions when inside the next active zone to earn event points. As the event goes on, the next zone will activate as the community EP milestones are reached. Individual and community rewards. Operation Day Zero features both community and individual rewards. All players will have the opportunity to claim the earned community reward at the end of the event. Individual awards are given based on the total number of event points that you specifically contribute to the greater community total. Uh, so the community awards include the Gilded Devil King Large Decal, the Scorched Beginnings Animated Calling Card for clearing Zone 2, the, the Large Decals for Zone 1, Animated Calling Card for Zone 2, the Golden Blaze Emblem for clearing Zone 3, the X12 Weapon Blueprint called the Golden Flame for clearing Zone 4, the M4 weapon blueprint called Heavy Thunder for clearing Zone 5, and for Zone 6, Golden Phantom Ghosts Operator Skin. Individual rewards include the Crimson Blaze Emblem and Nightmare Rift Calling Card, Forsaken Past Emblem, Tearing Me Apart Sticker, Demon's Claw Combat Knife Weapon Blueprint, Last Word Charm, Hell Scrapper LTV Vehicle Skin, Nightmare Inferno Large Decal, Crimson Prince X12 Weapon Blueprint, The Vengeful Devil King Large Decal, Raging Blaze M4 Weapon Blueprint and the Bloody Reaper Ghost Operator, which I think is this uh, one right here on the screen right now. The community earns a reward for each zone that is cleared, while individual players also earn specific rewards above that are accessible as, you, as soon as you earn them. As the event progresses and more event points are earned individually and collectively, the rewards get better. Each respective zone's rewards can be claimed as soon as the zone has been cleared. All rewards can be claimed in the event store up until April 3rd at 9am Pacific, which if not mistaken is 12 noon Eastern and 5pm UK. Rewards must be claimed within Call of Duty Warzone Mobile, but once claimed can be used across Warzone Mobile, Warzone and Modern Warfare 3. 
Top 5 tips for Operation Day Zero. Contract complete. Completing contracts rewards a large amount of EP to try to complete as many as you can to, in a match to maximise earnings. They often lead to opportunities to engage enemy players of wealth, further increasing your EP gain upon eliminating the threat. Fight together, invite some friends to infiltrate the contested Day Zero zones as a unit. Stick together to improve your chances of survival and call out opportunities to earn EP throughout the match. By grouping up, you'll help reach the community EP milestones more quickly as well. Stay active, you'll encounter many of the EP awarding actions simply by being an active player in the match. Track down enemies, seek out supply drops and Day Zero supply drops. Spend your cash by stations, the more you engage with the map, the better your earnings. Collect tactical boost to increase the amount of event points earned for certain event actions in Battle Royale and multiplayer playlists. And take a drive. Grab a vehicle early in the match to drastically cut down on travel time. By speeding one from one area to another, you'll gain more chances to open supply boxes, complete contracts and eliminate enemy players. So that's really interesting here, guys. Let me know what you guys' views and opinions are of this in the comments box down below. I can hear what you guys' views and opinions are. Now, another thing, just before I go on to my next point uh there's actually a trailer that's actually just dropped for this specific launch event which i'm going to play on screen right now uh just get this on screen so we can all see it without further ado let's check this out Okay guys, so want to know what you guys' views and opinions are of that? Let me know in the comments box down below and get to hear what you guys' views and opinions are. Now, it's just been brought to my attention recently, uh, according to DK Dynamite uh, on their detonated website, that uh, apparently they found out that there is a game that's been surfaced online called Blood Strike, which actually contains a really interesting copy of what appears to be Rebirth Island. So I went onto this uh, Web Pacific uh, Games Twitter page called Blood Strike. Now, apparently, if I'm not mistaken, please correct me if I'm wrong here, guys. Doesn't this map right here look almost the exact same as Rebirth Island? They've called it Shutter Island, coming soon to Blood Strike. Let me know, guys. Does this look similar to Rebirth Island? Let me know in the comments box down below. I'm interested to hear what you guys' opinions are of this, but... Um, Hope, hope they get taken down for a potential copyright, but uh, we'll have to wait and see what happens uh, with this specific game. I wouldn't be surprised if they actually do get it taken down, but um, let me know what you guys' views and opinions are of this in the comments box down below. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I'll see you in the next one. Until then, peace out.